All right, so uh, time for another update, I guess. It's been a long time since we've had anything to really talk about that was remotely interesting. One of those things, of course, is that we got our dome finally in, uh, set up, got it all built, got stuff planted in there. Uh, but before we go in there, I guess uh, I'll show you what we got done with the garden. Uh, recently, we pulled out all the stuff we had growing and uh, we covered with some mulch that we had sort of uh, breaking down in a pile in the backyard here. Uh, the only thing I got left in here now is uh, asparagus and chives. Chives are perennial, of course, so is the asparagus. Uh, this stuff here we got in the back, uh, they call it cove anyways in Portuguese and uh, it's, it's kind of like a collard green and this has been doing pretty good in the cold weather. I'm thinking I'll probably have to clip some of it here right away. Whatever's still left good of it anyway. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to the dome now. All right, so this is the inside of our uh, 18 foot growing dome. Over there you can see we've already got strawberries. Those were over from the in-laws. They had those all summer. And we brought them in here to see how long they'd last. Uh, we've also brought in our pepper plant over here to try to see how long that would last. Because we transplanted it, it's already still shocked. It might die. We don't know yet. It needs to be watered for sure. But in here in the central bed, uh, I've got lettuce planted along this edge here and a second row that I got to plant here in the back. Um, over here, I have, I can't remember, but I'll onions. remember as I go through. Oh, my onions are planted here. Over on this side here, we've got turnips. Wasn't it rutabaga that we planted, not turnips? Same thing. Is it? Yeah. Anyways, the uh, rutabaga or turnips, whatever you want to call them. I got a row that goes here. I got another row that goes in here. You can see they're already starting to sprout. Um, right here, all the way around here, I planted... Uh, Beets. Beets, yeah, a bunch of red beets. They might have been Merlin beets or blood beets, something like that. I can't quite remember. Then right here, I think, is where we planted our uh, uh, Brussels sprouts. And uh, then over here, I think, is where we planted our Swiss chard, which we uh, should get a nice uh, variety of colors with that. Then right here... We planted, uh, I don't remember what we planted here. Oh, wait, here was the Swiss shards. Oh, Swiss shard here, then. That was... Definitely beets over here. Or, okay, so it must be, uh, our Brussels sprouts must be here. And then this must be our beets, because yes. I planted a lot of beets. Yes. That's yeah, so this, this kind of corner here is mostly beets. And we got a lot of turnip in here. My thinking, I guess, is that uh, we couldn't find any potatoes, and those are close to potatoes. I don't know how close they are, but we'll find out. Not in taste or anything, but calorie was. <laughs> Anyways, uh, then over here, we planted some cauliflower. Uh, it's not your standard white cauliflower. It's a, a really kind of cool green colored cauliflower. Almost looks like a tie dye with uh, darker green and lighter green mixed in. Caught my eye on the site, so that's what we ordered. We ordered it from Vessi's, I think. Vessi's yeah. Seeds. Uh, and then over here in this corner, I've got planted uh, carrots and green uh, uh, peas. Uh, I can't remember exactly what kind of pea they are, but we've got a bunch of them planted and uh, a couple rows of, of uh, carrots. And then some herbs. Yeah, and these are our... Uh, herbs that were outside and weren't doing so good and then we brought them in here and they just exploded again so that's the dome right now it's been uh staying fairly warm in here we still got to kind of 
learn how to keep it as warm as possible in here without keeping it too warm while we have the sunlight because hopefully we'll be able to keep this warm enough so that the plants in here don't die and we won't have to put any additional heat in here hopefully uh, no uh, space heater or nothing would be needed but uh, that's it